All right, you guys, welcome back to a new episode of House Flipper. I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay, hold on. Before, oh, yeah, I'm confused. Okay, before we get into anything in House Flipper, <laughs> let me just recap where I've been. So in case you didn't notice, I took a week off of videos because the weekend of October the... I gotta look at the calendar because I don't know my dates anymore. October the da, 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 13th and 14th, I got extremely sick in like, I'm not entirely sure what happened. I thought it was allergies, but it kind of lingered for a while there. So I'm not entirely sure if it was allergies and I still kind of have it. So if you hear my throat or my voice turn weird, turn weird, that's, that's the name. If you hear it turn weird, then you know why. <laughs> I'm still kind of sick and dealing with it. And if you hear a lot of sniffling like that, I apologize. I'll try to cut it out as much as possible so that hopefully it doesn't impact the experience of playing these games such as House Flipper. Now, I just came back into House Flipper the first time in over a week and a half now. And I have been following House Flipper on Twitter, which if you don't follow House Flipper on Twitter, you really should. Because they always talk about the new updates and ask the community for ideas on how to update the house. Now, I know coming up, they want to update to allow us to work on the garden and the outdoor area with outdoor patio and furniture. So I'm assuming this is like the beginning of it. Even though I can't do anything at all with it, like I'm clicking on it. I can't do anything with it, but I'm assuming this is like the beginning so that you can place it and things like that. So this just might be them working on it and outlining it as we go. Can I do anything back here? I wonder, can I do any like actual flooring? That's that's the question here. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know where anything is. I totally forgot. Floor, no, floor panels. Can I do this? No, I still can't. Okay, so it looks like the only thing that I got in are these hit boxes for actual plants, which is interesting to see because that'll that definitely gives you an idea of how they're going to make it work when you actually have to apply, buy these plants and put them down. So they'll be like this. Very cool, very cool. I'm excited to see what work they're going to be doing on the future with it. And I really hope they take our advice, like all of us who give them ideas into consideration because there's a lot of great ideas people have been sharing with them and it's been amazing. But after all that talk and all that catching up on everything, let's go ahead and head into our little house here after the flood, which is appropriate because last weekend as well, not only did I get sick, but we got hit with remnants of Hurricane Michael. So this is a little like, a little not useful, but a little hit it in close to home. Can I get rid of this? That answer is no. Yeah, so it's just going to be, can I get rid of this? All these questions. That's a no as well. Uh, it's just a little funny for me, at least. I do know that in the last episode, I had this as the thumbnail, minus all these cups and plates. That's because I forgot to take a thumbnail picture, and I didn't want to take a thumbnail of this empty, empty room, because I already have so many thumbnails that were empty. So I quickly put this little office together, and as you can see, I painted it yellow. I added these little scones everywhere. I have our desk and whiteboard and bookshelf. I moved all of these cups and mugs from the master bedroom into here just so that they're out of the way and I know I won't step on it. But in the rest of today's episode, I really want to focus on decorating up in here in the bathroom as well as these two bedrooms and make it all feel finished and homey. And then the next episode, we can work out here. Oh, and then I need to work on this room as well. I kind of want to turn it into a laundry den area, but I'm not entirely sure how that'll work out. We'll see. We will see. But I definitely want to get to work. Let's start with this bathroom first and foremost, because wall tiles take me the longest. And I can do a, a decent time lapse out of it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into this time lapse with these wall towels. If you do enjoy my time lapses, leave a like, and I'll see you all on the other side.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I'm mean, hanging out and working in that kitchen. I will say that after that time lapse, I've been doing a lot of work off camera, to say the least. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have done now. Ignore that. This is this was me testing out tiles on what I think the kitchen should have. And I'm probably going to go with this for the kitchen. And it'll probably be in this corner somewhere. So, yeah, just ignore that for now. <laughs> um, I didn't touch over here yet. So this will be done in the next episode. And so we'll all out here, which is fine. I did, first thing I did was change these lights, these scones that we had in here, to these ceiling lights that are indented. Just because they add better lighting. And then in the bathroom itself... As you know, you saw most of this get done on camera during the time lapse, but I did these light blue tiles with scones everywhere. They also have a few extra uh, in the ceiling. I forgot what these are called, like pocket lights or something like that. Just for added light because it really gets dark in here with the scones. They don't provide too much light, honestly. And then we have our little painting here with some shelves and towels. And then this little bathroom, I did add the door just because it looked better with the door rather than having this wide open. So you come on in, you would shut the door. You, Oh my God, you can't shut the door. No. No, I can't do it. Okay, well, you just come in here and you do your thing with the door open. <laughs> um, it has a scone as well as one of the little pocket lights just because it was so dark in here without it. Then after this was all done mostly on camera, I did work on the two bedrooms. Now with the two bedrooms, I kept the paint this natural beige color, except for one of them. And on accident, I messed up this panel. You can tell it's got a little bit of beige in it now because I actually painted it somehow while I was painting in this room. Well, first room, I'm not too proud of. I mean, it, it's a bedroom, you know, meh. It's a bedroom. There wasn't much more I could do with it really just because anything here would kind of block the whole point of having walk space for the bedroom and yeah it's just it's just not my favorite but I do love this paint these paintings that I did here how I have them going from big in the middle and then small medium and small uh, I think I'll be doing that for a lot more houses just to, as a better feature wall kind of and then my pride and joy oh no oh okay I was like am I gonna be stuck in there forever my pride and joy is this room, which I intended to make for kids, but then I just took it to the extreme and made it for a little girl, just because I haven't actually done really a kids-themed room, aside from that one where it was mostly, like, boy in the last house, I think. I don't know. It's been a few. It's been a while. But, yeah, so we only have two walls painted this pale pink, just because I personally can never have color on all four walls. I think it just looks a little weird, and I'd rather have a two-tone difference, and I think it just helps especially like when you grow up in a room like this rather than having this whole thing be totally pink. But yeah, of course we got our toys everywhere. We got our cute little flower curtains. We got our cute little pink bed, pink everything, toys everywhere. And then I really love this painting. Uh, hello, thank you. This little section of paintings I did here, I really love it. This is one of the main points why I like having a basic wall color a very plain wall color and then doing paintings on top of it to add the color that you want so yes we might have pink walls back here mostly because there's not much room to put paintings but on this wall we can place our own paintings that add pink and leave the background totally plain I guess you could say and that's I'm proud of this the most this room in general and these are all carpets too like each one these are individual squares and I just kind of did this three by three section here to make it look like one big rug because they don't really have a larger pink rug which is what I was hoping for but this kind of gives it away as if it was one even though it's not and so I'm, I'm very happy with it I think it looks adorable and yeah but that's about all the time I have for am I gonna be stuck in this room too yep for this episode today you guys I hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure you leave a like down below to show your support for the series if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for all the best updates on my channel for house flipper and comment if you have anything like to comment down below especially I want to hear what you think house flipper should be actually adding to the game because I've been like racking my brain about what they should actually add but honestly I want to hear what everybody else thinks because I could go on and on and on forever. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode where we tackle the last half of this house and sell it off. So, bye, guys. <laughs>